Snuggle up, close your eyes, and relax. Tonight, we're traveling to the Moshified North Pole with Sleepy Paws, a snoozy little koala who's trying to find a very dear old friend. Close your Say hello to Sleepy Paws. A koala you might know. Who at this very moment is walking through the snow. He's heard all things are possible. As long as you believe so he's going on a journey on this frosty twist eve. Sleepy Paws has trouble sleeping at this time of year. He gets way too excited as Twistmas Day draws near. So this evening, he is going on a festive moonlit stroll to the land where Twistmas dreams are made, the Moshified North Pole. Sleepy Paws is seeking out some festive sleepy tips. But that's not the only reason for this evening's Twistmas trip. He wants to speak to Santa on this chilly winter night and maybe even ride aboard his sleigh when it takes flight. Sleepy Paws is wandering past rows of Twistmas trees. The snow here's deep and powdery. It comes right up to his knees. Oh, this wintry forest's lovely, Sleepy thinks 
while gazing around, listening as his paws create a snowy, crunchy sound. Sleepy Paws spots Willow, a very dainty deer. Who looks as if she's filled with joy and wondrous twistmas cheer. For on her frozen antlers, Willow's wearing little chimes, which tinkle in the gentle breeze that swirls between the pines. Sleepy Paws asks Willow if he's heading the right way. She smiles and nods towards a little gingerbread chalet. The chalet looks like something from the pages of a fable. Though standing there beside it is a tower with a cable. Sleepy Paws now realizes the chalet is a station where travelers set off towards a magic destination. For next to it's a cable car that crosses a ravine. It really is the most stupendous thing he's ever seen. The gondola is like a snow globe with glass on every side so passengers can see the world around them as they ride. This shimmering gondola sits beneath a soaring wooden tower, beneath which there's a water wheel providing all its power. As Sleepy Paws approaches, he sees a little fella who's sitting by the gondola beneath a striped umbrella. It's Snowflake, one of Santa's elves. It seems he's in control of this cable car that takes folks to the mushified North Pole.
The North Pole is a land that few koalas have explored. But Sleepy Paws asks Snowflake, May I step aboard? Of course you can, says Snowflake. And give Santa my best. I hear you want to ask him how to get a good night's rest. The gondola sets off into the frosty starlit night, crossing the ravine and down towards a glowing light. The snowflakes turn to ice, and the air feels fresh but bitter as the gondola descends into a cloud of silvery glitter. Sleepy Paws looks down and sees a village caked in snow and every single chalet's draped in fairy lights aglow. Stepping off the gondola, the first thing Sleepy sees are piles of gifts arranged around a thousand twistmas trees. Sleepy Paws is walking towards the busiest part of town where marshling elves and turtle doves and reindeer wander around. This place is truly magical. A land where dreams come true think Sleepy Paws, as partridges in pear trees flap and coo. Sleepy Paws now stands before this evening's destination, Santa's home, adorned with lots of festive decorations. He rings a bell beside the door, which opens by itself. 
and is beckoned down the hallway <laughs> by a jolly little elf. Is that my dear friend Sleepy Bones? He hears a voice inquire and sees his old pal Santa Claus relaxing by the fire. Sleepy Paws says, Uh, I can't seem to sleep this time of year. And Santa ho hos Ho, oh, oh, follow me. I'll help you. Never fear. Santa says to Sleepy Paws, Come along, this way. And leads him to the stable, where he keeps his magic sleigh. We always take a warm-up flight to melt the pesky ice. So hop aboard and join us, and I'll give you some advice. Sleepy Paws thanks Santa and climbs upon the sleigh. As Santa tugs the reins and bellows, up, up, and away. Several reindeer pull the sleigh into the blustery sky. And Santa turns and says, oh, So you can't sleep? Do tell me why. Sleepy Paws explains how Twistmas makes him so excited. I can't wait to open all my gifts and hug guests I've invited. My tummy feels all funny and my mind begins to race. So I lie in bed for hours just staring into space.
laughed Santa. You silly little bear. I love Twismas too. But there are some tips I can share. Agree a time to go to bed and stick to a routine and make sure you allow more time to drift into a dream. Listening to sleigh bells ring can help you fall asleep. In fact, I've got some jingling ones that you, my friend, can keep. Santa reaches down and grabs a sprig of mistletoe with lots of little bells strung where the berries usually go. He hands the sprig to Sleepy Paws and says, Try this tonight. I'll drop you off home later. But for now, enjoy the flight. They soar across the mushy world, over snowy roofs, as the reindeer gallop through the sky and sparks fly from their hooves. Sleepy Paws and Santa fly through whirling, snowy flurries. But now he has the jingle bells. Sleepy has no worries. They whoosh beneath the clouds. And Santa says, I think you'll find. Your sprig of bells will help you sleep and calm your racing mind. Sleepy Paws thanks Santa as they land on glistening snow. And Santa says, Is that the time? I really ought to go. Sleepy Paws looks skywards as the sleigh flies past the moon and Santa shouts, Sleep well, my friend. I'll be back very soon. Sleepy Paws walks home and holds the sprig in both his paws amazed that he already has a gift from Santa Claus. He hangs the sprig outside his home, way up in the trees, and listens while its jingling bells make music in the breeze. He drifts to sleep so quickly, even though 
it's Christmas Eve. Cause anything is possible. As long as you believe. Good night. And happy holidays.
snow's gem.